All right, YouTube, uh, we're out here kind of near Swansboro. It's called uh, Shell Rock Landing, I believe. And um, if you're kind of looking at a map, if you look where Bogue Inlet is, you're kind of like south of that on the sound side. So I got my kayak today. And uh, we're going to try to find some little creeks and channels because it's cold water. And uh, I don't know if the surf is going to do too hot. It's kind of windy could be a good thing but um yeah let's go find us that creek let me go look at the map real quick i know there's a creek channel entrance there then i believe if we go further that way there's one back that way so let's go find some fish right there or hole it'll be like the perfect redfish hole probably summertime Now here comes the fun part, fighting against the current. Fish, so we're pedaling back. It's actually quite hard because we're going against the tide. And I went pretty far back, probably about three quarters of the way to the actual inlet back that way. You can actually hear the waves roaring, but uh, I saw that starting to form, so I started heading back. I don't want to be on a kayak when the weather gets really, really bad, especially in a place I'm not familiar with. So, I'm probably going to go to the surf. Actually, just picked me up a new present. Kind of spoiled myself for this one. I know it seems kind of silly to set this up in the parking lot, but I literally just got it. So, we're going to set this up in the parking lot. <laughs> so, this is the uh, main voyage of the new beach cart. Oh, that's a big drop right there. Oh man, this thing rolls so much easier. I can't believe I was using that other cart. Word of advice, guys, don't ever get the plastic wheel carts. They, they don't work. I mean, they work on the piers, but out here in the, the soft sand right here, they ain't hitting on nothing. So, uh, looks beautiful. Waves are turned up. Looks like we have a pretty aggressive uh, southern current kind of going north northward i guess that's how you describe it so yeah we're gonna go try to find a nice hole somewhere see and i guess i'll i'll go over uh, what I'm, I'm specifically looking for when i first walk on a beach especially if i haven't been to one in a while is you see all these shells right here all right let's, let's see if i can describe this better you look down the beach and you see the shells there'll be a point where they all kind of funnel in back towards the ocean generally that's where a rip current was and actually another way to spot it because i don't really see any good indications of that because i guess we're in a slack tide or a low tide is if you look at the waves where they both meet together on the shoreline and roll back inward that's another good sign that there's a rip tide in that area so we're going to look to where two currents of water meet each other, which looks to be right around here. And we're going to try to look a little bit further outward and look for a hole. In other words, a long rolling wave that breaks somewhere and forms back. Right where that wave breaks, it's going to be where the hole is. Now this is a 24 hour beach access here, so I shouldn't get any tickets. I don't think I will, <laughs> but uh, so I got some time to dissect this and really find a good spot. And now that I got this thing, I feel like I could go on forever. Like this is awesome. The sun's starting to set. That ugly storm is staying off back that way. I'm liking this. All right, let me stop talking and uh, actually try to find a good hole. I'm gonna cut this off and I'll come back to you guys. I don't know how well you guys are gonna be able to see this, but right there past that big breaking wave, right there, just beyond it. If you look really hard, you'll notice there's no white caps in that one particular area, just slow, smooth, clean rollers. But if you look to the right and to the left, you'll see where it's breaking there. 
and then if I wait long enough and another wave comes by, you'll see it breaking over here. So that's a good sign right to the right of that white cap right there. See where it's dying down? That would be a good hole or a good indication that there's a hole because right there it's, it's staying calm. No white suds, no white caps, nice and smooth. That's where I'm going to try to pretty much aim for. See, look, there's another white cap dying down. I guess they're still out here. I wonder, since I'm in my waders. Just to see. Let's see if we can see any little schools of uh, sand fleas. I'm not seeing any. Because if they are, they're going to be right here on the return wash you'll see like little ripples almost in the sand like there'll be an area of the water that just looks kind of disturbed like it's different looking and you'll see it right on the beach and it just saves you a lot of time having them pre-tied in these little ziploc style holders that way you could just take your rigs out like right now that current's ripping pretty hard i know this little tiny two ounce ain't gonna hold it or one ounce so I definitely need to go with like a Sputnik probably. But uh, see this thing's ready to go pretty much. I just gotta untangle this one part right here. And look at that, ow. Look at me stab myself. All right. Come on. There you go, ready to go. Let's go put a weight on there, tie it up and send her out. With the uh, fish gum pomp candy, and little pieces of shrimp and I don't like to use huge pieces of fish gum just tiny little slivers like that and put them on the double drop rig over here obviously you want to put the shrimp on first and then you're going to use the fish gum to hold the shrimp on Let's see here gonna take us a chunk of fish gum feed it through the webbing go through the hook past the barb same thing with this one thread it through the shrimp thread it through the fish gum go past the barb make sure your sputnik weight is set turn your drag up so you don't slice your fingers open with your braid if you're using braid I prefer to use braid and remember that hole we were talking about earlier out there we're gonna go ahead and aim for it the best we can without throwing a shrimp off um, it's winter time so if you're surf fishing I advise wearing waders if you're going in the water at all because the water temp generally drops pretty cold right around now um, whiting are gonna be up close your bigger species are gonna be further back there are birds diving, so that's, that's a good sign. Already threw a chunk of shrimp off. Let's see uh, what, what the current wants to do here. I didn't quite make it. It's a problem with this wet shrimp. It's gotta really dry out in that sand a little bit first. Cause I always take my shrimp and uh, put it in the sand. Oh man. Yeah, this current's ripping today. Along with these waves, this should be fun. But uh, we should still be able to catch something. It should be impossible. Hoo hoo, yeah, that water is ice cold. So, got our first rod out. And uh, we'll go ahead and get our second one set up and maybe something will hit it in the meantime. And I'm really trying to keep as much slack out of this as I can to keep it from smacking those waves. I already see a piece of seaweed tied up on it. That's great. But uh, who knows? Drum love this kind of weather. So this might be the, the ticket. It might be the winner right here. Obviously set your drags to where you're not gonna lose all your stuff. If I walk away. Have your rod set all the way down in the holder. I have a bad habit of like setting it at an angle out of it, but that's just a good way to lose your rod. So 
We got a little pre-tension on there. If you look up at the rod tip, you can see the waves smacking it. It's almost rhythmic, but it won't be because these waves aren't really rhythmic. But we're gonna look for an aggressive jerk or we're gonna look for the line to go straight up and go slack. But see, it's already taking... What the heck is taking a drag like that? It's just a Sputnik Lake. <laughs> well, there ain't no way I have a fish on this thing. We're gonna go ahead and rebate this. Um, I think the big key here is we're gonna have to get this right up against the water because this is a actual bar. It looks like right here, running across the beach, and being low tide, you know it's gonna be at the bottom. Oh man, seaweed's looking rough, guys. Oh yeah. Seaweed's really rough today. And that's why you don't see anybody else fishing right now. <laughs> but, um, you can't catch anything if you don't try, I suppose. So this is the uh, current situation right now. The wind isn't so bad, but the current is absolutely horrible right now. Um, I cast it over here earlier and my four inch Sputnik's over there now. The seaweed's really, really bad too. Um, that's the second major issue I'm having right now. Every, it seems like every time I cast a line out there and I bring it back, there's like a wad or several wads of seaweed on there. Which I remember hearing in the Facebook groups that there's a lot of seaweed, but this is, this is crazy. So... We're just gonna try to stick it out, I guess, for a while because I don't really see it getting much better. I might move down the beach a little bit. That might would help. But uh, it's looking rough all the way down the beach. But uh, yeah, still fishing. I think we're still in a low tide. I think it's starting to come back in now. I'm hoping once the tide comes back in, these waves calm down a little bit, or at least this current will. I think uh, all these waves and currents coming from these offshore storms in the background here. See, this is what we keep reeling back in here. And I mean, it's just endless amounts of seaweed. Um, yeah.